Hey, I want to take a little time today to address a topic that's been brought up to me in emails and in live chats quite a bit lately, mainly since people have realized that I have switched to the 1911 as my everyday carry gun. Now, you might ask yourself, why have you switched to a 1911 as your everyday carry gun? Well, it's because I'm getting older and my body is a little bit closer to death and it's letting me know that every day. In fact, some parts of my body, like my elbow, my shoulder, have already checked out. And they said, you know, we'll be over here. Let us know when it's all over. But one thing people have noticed in my 1911s is that most of them are 45 ACP. And these people are saying, why are you buying 45 ACP? Why don't you get a 38 Super? 38 Super is a so much better round. So I thought I'd take a moment today to address these people, make a video here talking about why 38 Super is one of the best rounds you can possibly get. Not. That's stupid. That's a stupid idea. <laughs> That's, that whole notion is ridiculous. The 38 Super exists for one reason. Mexicans. And I'm not saying that in a racist way. I'm just saying Mexicans cannot own 9mm, 10mm, or 45 ACP. They're very restricted in what they can own. They're prohibited from using anything that their government uses uh, in their military, law enforcement, whatever. So they have a very limited range of options that they can choose for a handgun. The 38 Super was designed to fall into that largest caliber they can own range while not being any of the calibers they're prohibited from owning. When you get right down to it, it's basically just a compromise between manufacturers and the Mexican government based on what Mexicans can actually have. It's a compromised round. Now, those of you out there that are big 38 Super fans, don't lose your panties right now. I'm not saying it's a compromise ballistically. I'm just saying it's a compromise in two different ways. One, it's not really any better than 9 millimeters. It's just not 9mm because they can't sell 9mm in Mexico, but it's not quite 10mm, not even close to 10mm. It's just slightly different than 9mm. It's hotter in some cases, but in a lot of cases it's the same or not quite as hot. You can usually get 9mm that's just as effective for less money and it's easier to find. Therefore, the 38 Super is a compromise because it's not quite 10mm and it's harder to find, so if you have other options, you'd be compromising your options by getting a 38 Super because 38 Super would be more expensive and harder to find off the shelf. Now, people say, well, if that's true, why has it gotten so popular? Well, it's gotten so popular for one reason. Well, manufacturers produced these guns. They made this caliber, they produced these guns, produced this ammunition back when sales to Mexico were a little higher. Uh, sales have dropped off a lot to the, to the southern countries now, and they have these products still. So they thought, well, how can we get rid of these? I know what, we'll tell people they're awesome and people will believe us and they will buy them. And that's pretty much been the case. It's all marketing because the round itself isn't anything special. They just had to move them. So, you know, they started promoting them through distributors, etc. But originally, like I said, the only reason they existed is for countries like Mexico that can't own the more common calibers, the 9mm or the 45, which both of those rounds are in their own way are better than the 38 Super. The 38 Super can almost equal the 9mm, but at the things the 45 are good at, it doesn't even come close. Uh, so it's just not a great round. So unless you're Mexican, and you live in Mexico, there's really not a reason to own a 38 Super other than if you just want to have one of everything. Like you're someone that wants to have, I want to have every caliber available on a certain model, well then more power to you, that's awesome, go get a 38 Super. Uh, or if you just like to have something a little different and you're okay with spending a little more money for ammo, because like I said, 38 Super is usually more expensive than a, a 9 millimeter. If you're just someone who wants it for the reasons of just having it, or because you like guns, or you like having all the calibers you can possibly have, then 38 Super might be a good idea. But as far as it being a better choice for a self-defense gun when you have other options of the 9mm and the 45 ACP, it's not a better choice. It's a compromise round. So if you're trying to buy it to have the best round you can possibly have for your carry gun, then 38 Super is just not a good choice if you live in this country. Moments today to address a topic that's been been blah. So I switched to the 1911. Well, and since I have, I've been got hmm. switched to a 1911 for carry. Well, it's because uh, my fuck because my body is getting a little bit older. Uh, fuck. I'm not saying it's a bad round because ballistically it's almost equal to 911. I mean, it's a compromise because of what compromised because I believe the fuck was that common round therefore it's a compromise because 
Fire! Have 10 millimeter. They can't have 38 spe. <sighs> 38 Super is one of the best rounds you can possibly get. Not. <clears throat> Why did my voice crack there? 